Hello everyone, my name is Tepo and welcome back to Native Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson which was diesel cycle. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise that I have taken from my test book and it reads as follows. An oil engine working on a diesel cycle takes in air at 89.63 kilopascal and 17 degrees Celsius. Maximum pressure in cycle is equal to 3378 kilopascal. Fuel cut off at 10% of stroke after top dead center. Compression and expansion curves follow the law. PV raised to index 1.3 is equal to constant. And then the gas constant, which is R, is equal to 288 joules per kg Kelvin. A used per second is equal to 0 0.454 kg. And then the question they say, calculate the power developed in kilowatts. And these as the information that we are given. We are told that the cut off of the fuel is at 10% of the uh, swept volume. And then we are given the law PV and the index is 1.3. And we are given the gas constant and the mass which is 0 0.454 kilo, kilo kg per second this is the velocity diagram and this is the information that we are given on the table we are given t1 it was initially given to us in 17 degrees Celsius, and then we add 273 converted to, to kelvins and then we are given p1 and p2 and 3 we know p2 and 3 they are the same since we know that combustion at combustion in the diesel cycle take place in at constant pressure we are asked to calculate for the power we know power is the cost to work done divided by time in seconds we have our mass already in kg per second and we know that the formula to calculate our for our work done at the cost to T3 minus T2, which will be plus T2 minus T4, or oh, it's MR, yes, MR, and then we say T4 minus T2 plus T1, divided by the, which will be 1.3 minus 1. So now already our mass is in kg unit. If we are able to calculate for, to get all the information on this other side, we will be able to get not our work done, but our power because it will be work done the second, which is our power. Now, our job is to get all the temperatures. Temperature number one, temperature number two, temperature number three, and temperature number four. So the best way for us is just we should complete this table and then after that we will, we will be able to come back and calculate for the power which they are looking for let's just complete this table we will start with what we are given with what we are given the first thing that we can we can calculate is v1 using mrt mrt is pv which is one 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 and we can calculate for V1 using this formula MRT. M is equals to 0 0.454 times R 0 0.288. And then T1 is equals to 290, which will be divided by P1. And P1 we know it's 8. Point na oh sorry, it's 89.63 which will give us our v1 as 0 0.423 cubic meters and then using that information since we are adding to the table now we look at the information that we we, we, we have using this information we can calculate v2 v2 we calculate using the formula p1 v1 raised to the index which is 1.3 is equals to p1 p2 sorry v1 
two raised to the index one point three and then we are looking for we make it the subject of the formula where we will have v1 times p2 divided by p1 raised to the index which is 1.3 it will be 1 divided by 1.3 if i'm not mistaken yes and then we substitute p1 v1 sorry 0 0.4 and then p2 is 3378 divided by p1 which is 8 9.63 raised to 1 divided by 1.3 which will give us our v2 as 0 0.0259 cubic meters then now with the information that we are we have what else can we calculate we calculate v3 we know v3 is the clearance volume plus the percentage of the swept volume covered which will be 10 percent of the total amount of swept volume v3 we look at our clearance volume we know clearance volume it's this from here to here which is equal to v2 we say 0.0, .0 259 plus we are told that it is 10 percent which is 0 0.1 of the swept volume what's the swept volume swept volume is equals to v1 minus v2 that will be our swept volume v1 minus v2 because swept volume is from here to here and then this is a clearance volume and v1 covers from here to here we need to minus this portion of the clearance volume so we are going to say v1 or let's say our third volume it's equals to v1 minus clearance volume v1 it's equals to 0.4 Two three minus our clearance volume is zero point zero two five nine, which will give us a swept volume of zero point three nine seven cubic meters. And then we take this and put it here. This is our swept volume, zero point three nine seven, which will give us our V three, and the value of our V three is zero point zero. 656 six, which we are going to put here 0 0.0656 six. as cubic meters and we also know that v1 it's equals to v4 so we will just take the value of v1 and put it here as equals to v4 because v1 and v4 we know that they are the same then now we continue using the information that we are given we calculate for t2 our t2 we are going to use this p number point 0.1 to point 0.2 which will be p1 v1 divided by t1 it's equals to p2 v2 divided by t2 we are looking for this we make it the subject of the formula which will be t1 times p2 times v2 divided by p1 v1 we substitute what is our v1 is 290 times p2 is 3378 times v2 is 0 0.0259 and then p1 89.63 times v1 is 0 0.423 which will give us the value of our t2 as 
9.212. We continue. We calculate for the value of T3. T3, we are going to use the formula. We are going to use this line. Line 2 and line 3. We know that is we know that the law that we're using there is constant pressure. We are going to use the formula PV Y2 2 divided by T2. It's equals to P3 V3 divided by T3. Therefore, this falls off. We are looking for what? For T3. We make it the subject of the formula. Remember, this is no longer here. T3, we make it the subject of the formula. We get that it is T2 times V3. Three divided by V2, which will be, we substitute, what's our T2? 669.212. Six, two. Times V3? 0 0.0656. Uh, six. And then V2? Uh, this is V3. We're looking for V2 now. 0 0.025. Nine, which will give us our T3 as 1694.993. And then we continue. Now we will calculate for our P4. We use P3V3. Raise to index V4 P V V4 P4 V4 raised to index. We are using the line one, three, and four. We know that any information that you, you, you need here, we are going to use the formulas that correspond with the law. Since they didn't tell us which one it's adiabatic or polytropic. The, anyway, the formulas are the same, but make sure that you put the index here because we are not told whether it is adiabatic or polytropic. And then we make P4 the subject of the formula, which will be P4 is P3 times V3 divided by V4 raised to index 1.3. And then here we say, what's our P3? That's 3378 three, times V3. It's 0 0.0656 divided by our V4. 0 0.423 raised to the index, which will be the value of P4. We're going to get 299.2. And then finally, we are calculating for our T4. T4, we are going to use this line. And we are using P1, sorry, it's 3, V3 divided by T3. It's equal to P4, V4 divided by T3. What are we looking for? T4. We make it the subject of the formula. What do we have as an as our equation is T3 times P4 times V4 divided by P3 times V3. Which and then from here we substitute P3 T3. Sorry, it's one six nine four point nine nine six time this it's okay yeah it's correct p4 299.9.497 times i uh, will erase here our v4 it's 0 0.423 and then we divide by p3 Where's our P3? P3 is 3, 3, 7, 8 times our V3, which is 0 
zero six five six and then we get that our answer is nine six nine point three point zero three kelvin now we have completed our table from here we can calculate for our power now since we have everything on the table and we already know that we are asked to calculate for the power and we know that power is the work done per second we said we are going to use the formula of the work done we know work done it's given by what's the formula for work done work done it's given by m r in bracket another bracket t3 minus t2 close bracket plus another open bracket t3 minus t4 minus t2 plus t1 close bracket index minus 1 we have t1 to t4 we already have that we have calculated and m our m it's given in i will start it here so that i have enough space space 0 0.454 it's kg per second so work the work done per second we have already solved this problem which means the answer that you are going to get here it's not it's, it's work done per, per second which is the power that we are looking for then, then we are going to, to, to substitute everything 0 0.288 we go to the temperatures temperature number two three let me just copy here so it becomes easy it's one six nine 4.993 minus 669.219 six, plus we are here now temperature number three open bracket temperature number three it's one six nine four point nine nine three negative 969.03 negative t2 669.212 and positive 290 which is t1 i can erase this now divided by the index which is 1.3 minus 1 and then we close the bracket and then from here we are going to get our power as 285.251 kilowatts and that is what we are asked to calculate and that's the end of our lesson i will see you on the next lesson